How do you strike the right balance between your hand and the vibrator? We get this question a lot about vibrator addiction, dependency, or sometimes the vibrator makes someone feel numb. And I thought about what I see with clients and women in the workshops and my own personal experience. Mm -hmm. I don't just use one or the other. I use both. Yes. Isn't variety? Variety just makes things so much better. Um, and why limit yourself to just one thing? You have to explore yourself, mm -hmm. figure out what your orgasm buildup is. I always want to start with a vulva massage with oil. Mm -hmm. Stay there for a good two to three minutes. It's going to seem like an eternity, but it's actually quite quick. And that's going to ground you, relax the body right. because we can't go from zero Mm -hmm. to pleasure. You can't just be like all stressed out from your day, take a vibe, put on your clit and think you're going to have a positive experience. Yes. And breathe while you're doing that vulva massage. Mm -hmm. It helps. It helps release any tension that you've been feeling throughout the day. And it connects you to your body. Touch, breath, very connecting. Movement. Yes. Right. That's what the rock and roll is about. Breath, movement, touch. Then the vibrator is just about getting all that blood flow to the erectile tissue. Just like men can't ejaculate unless they're erect, we can't have full body orgasms unless we're erect and our erectile tissue is internal. It takes a little longer. It takes a good 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to take the vibrator and put it any one spot. Move it around. Right. Exactly. I always like to take the vibrator and just kind of make a circle around my outer labia, the inguinal crease where your thigh meets your outer labia. Just, you know, take the vibrator, make big circles down to your perineum, that space between your vagina and your mm -hmm. anus, you know, all the way up to your pubic mound and just these nice big circles. What's under there? Well, the bulbs of your clitoris, the legs of your clitoris, all of that is erectile tissue. So just like you use a vibrator on your neck and shoulders and it like releases tension and feels good, it's going to feel good on your vulva too because it's activating your internal clitoris underneath and sending blood there, which means erection. And that's going to help if you're experiencing painful penetration. I always will do a, a vibrator warm up. Yes. Before we penetrate, circle the opening of the vagina. The vaginal opening has a lot of nerve endings that are very sensitive. We want to be aroused. We want it mm -hmm. to feel nice. And then at any time you can put your hand down, try your hand on your clit and your vibe on your vaginal opening, switch it around, move it around, play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. There's just your way. And it's a preference. And when we take the vibrator into partner sex, you don't mm -hmm. have to have your vibe on your clit while you're penetrated. Right, right. You can use it before to warm up. You can use it afterward if you're not finished or if you want to take another orgasm. So when it comes to orgasms, comparison is the thief of joy. You can't judge the orgasm shifts and change. Yes. Play with it. Have fun. The vibrator is just a tool. Right, exactly. It's a tool that helps you become aroused more easily. I mean, sure, you could just play with your hands only and stimulate yourself with your fingers only. Um, when you're in your teens and 20s with your <laughs> hormones coursing through, it's that's going to be much easier. However, as you get older, um, I know I appreciate having a vibrator because <laughs> I need more stimulation. Yes. And I used mine in my last trimester when I was pregnant. There was no way I could have an orgasm without my Hitachi. I've left my vibrators home and had an orgasm with my hands. So you can't lose it. You can't break it. And as mm -hmm. Betty used to always say, an orgasm is an orgasm is an orgasm.